Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and welcome back to the Hamilton Let's Play. You might wonder why we are in the world overview right now. Last episode, we went on a little snowy vacation, a snowy escape, if you will. Uh, and I kind of made one huge household with all the Sims so they could all go on a fun little vacation together. And I cheated them all into one household, sort of kind of forgetting that Lafayette and Mulligan have kids. <laughs> In this lovely little corner over here, we have a massive house with just a toddler and a baby. <laughs> just a toddler and a baby hanging out alone at home. I'm gonna quickly, if I can, I don't know if I can, I'm gonna quickly move them back into their home because uh, I don't want their kids to get taken away <laughs> after, oh my God, look at that. I've never seen that before, the crib in the picture, because usually a Sim is holding the baby. That's That's how it goes. It's even more funny because the toddler's wearing a suit because I was, you know, trying to be funny and give him, give, you know, and I gave the toddler like a, a formal Hamilton inspired outfit. So now it just looks like a tiny human <laughs> with their baby. Right, let's move them back in. Oh my god, I am so sorry. Uh, oh, the vacation will end, sure. You know what, been there, done that. All right, so the plan for today, I actually don't have much of a plan, uh, but part of the plan is hanging out with Lawrence and Hamilton for a bit and seeing how they are doing with a newborn baby and maybe possibly cleaning the floor from the most recent fire. <laughs> One of many. Uh, and I don't know, just, just, just checking in, just... You know, have they burnt the house down yet? Is the baby doing okay? Are they doing okay? And just kind of seeing what is happening. Maybe Lawrence can do a painting. I can do a figure painting. And actually, we'll actually have some Sims advance in their careers in this Let's Play for once. And Hamilton, who is a writer, can write a book. <laughs> I feel like... Um, that little detail of the musical where Hamilton writes non-stop has really not transferred over to this Let's Play in any way, shape or form. But you know, it's not like that was healthy for him um, in the actual story anyway. Let's write a genre book. Maybe a non-fiction, probably. Oh, I was doing Hamilton songs, wasn't I? Did I publish the last one? I think I did. So then we're on to the second song. So he wrote his autobiography, and now he's writing a book about Aaron Burr, sir. There we go. Aaron Burr, sir, his second novel, kind of. Um, and maybe in the description I will put my favorite line, and you can all share your favorite line from the song. I'm actually not quite sure what my favorite line is. I do like the part where Hamilton goes, I may have punched him, it's a blur, sir. I don't know why, it's something with the rhyming with it's just a funny line um but i am actually going to put burst theme that kind of runs throughout the musical i'm gonna put talk less smile more don't let them know what you're against or what you're for <laughs> i feel like that's that's a good summary of um this song <laughs> Or this book, a short non-fiction story about Burr's life and personality that Hamilton is gonna write. So that's probably gonna be super unbiased. <laughs> I should probably not let Hamilton write a book about Aaron Burr. <laughs> that seems not not smart. Is that enough for his um, a thing? No, 25% done. Only 25? That was a whole large painting. How many... Do you really need to do four large paintings? That seems excessive. Let's do a landscape painting. How is this painting level? Can we paint any turtles yet? We should paint turtle. Our, our cats? Have we done that yet? We have not. We have a painting of pregnant Eliza playing piano in her rope. But we don't have a painting of a turtle. I'm disappointed in myself. What an achievement. Alexander finished writing an entire book. Uh, future reading enjoyment. We can also publish it. Of course he's gonna publish it. I mean, we're talking about Hamilton here. Of course we're gonna publish it. 
Uh, are we gonna self-publish? Or sell to a publisher? I don't know what Hamilton, like, real life, I don't know. We're just gonna, oh, we have two books. Okay, uh, <laughs> I like that the first one is a confident book. His autobiography is confident. <laughs> and then Aaron Burr is just, oh my god. Aaron Burr in heels. Aaron Burr in heels and a dress. It's an interesting cover picture for that. Are they hungry? Can they eat together? They're not- Okay, Hamilton is hungry. I just kind of want him to call... Call to meal so they can eat together. Because that would be cute. Did they finish their... Yes, they finished their career tasks, right? How is his landscape painting? Um, kind of cute. It does kind of look like he followed a Bob Ross tutorial for the first time. <laughs> Not to roast his painting skills. Um, he is painting level 5. I... Uh, is it just me or do, would you expect better from someone who's painting level 5? Because that figure painting was actually like really really nice. Because he also painted these. Look at that. Realism. I think they're pretty much ready to go to bed. Both of them. Actually, Lawrence is already in bed. Uh, they did absolutely nothing with the baby, but the baby is happy, so... I guess we're good? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I missed it. Maybe Turtle is taking care of things secretly in this house. Okay, baby is actually crying now. Who's gonna get up? Who would get up? I, I don't... I'm just gonna choose Alexander. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Let's change dirty diaper and bottle feeds. Have they ever taken care of this baby in this entire day? <laughs> I don't know. It should be fine, right? <laughs> Let's go back to bed. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave these two for a bit and actually go check up on Peggy because we moved her to university and then went on a vacation and I have no idea how she is doing. So let's just kind of check in, see how Things are coming along for her. Why does she hate Burr? <laughs> Why is that a thing? Why does she... What the... Uh, oh. Never mind. I'm stupid. I was traveling. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to go... <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> How long have I been playing this game? I pressed M and M doesn't go to manage worlds. No. M lets you travel. So I was traveling with Hamilton. I, d I didn't select Peggy at all. So Peggy doesn't hate Burr. It's Hamilton who hates Burr, which makes sense. And also it's Hamilton who has a romance bar with Eliza because it would be really, really, really freaking creepy if Peggy had a, rela um, a relationship bar with Eliza, her literal sister. <sighs> God. <laughs> I'm so stupid. How long have I been playing this game? <sighs> anyway, we're here. <laughs> Peggy's here. How is she doing? Is she? What is she doing? That's question one. She's browsing the web. Is she, has she been doing her homework? No. Okay, great. So we have a lot of catching up to do, which is hard. <laughs> Let's do our homework and then grab something to eat. Is the cafeteria open? I'm pretty sure we had a cafeteria in this dorm. Oh, in, in about one hour? Wait, what class? And are we doing the homework for it? Yes, we are doing the homework for it. My god. Peggy, keep up your grades. Can't just... Go to university and then fail. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be in this situation like all the time because it's already hard enough to keep up university um, when you are playing the sim full time, but we are not. We're switching between households. So this is gonna be really, really hard. Uh, and hopefully she'll be able to do it anyway. And otherwise, hopefully it will be a good experience and she makes friends and she learns something and who cares about a degree, right? And she'll gain life experience. She showed up to class, but wasn't as prepared as she should have been. Yes, because she did not do her homework. I mean, she did like 75% of it. That counts for something, right? Oh my god, she's so sad. I'm so sorry. It's but she's just hungry. You'll be you'll be happy and like yes. There you go. Happy in like two seconds. 
You just need a spoonful of ramen and everything will be okay. Shall we do... Okay, this is not going to be the most um, riveting content, but we are just going to do homework for a bit. Angelica is inviting Peggy over to the talent showcase to go embarrass themselves. Um, yes, please. <laughs> Let's go there. That sounds great. Sign up at the bar to participate. Okay, I'm totally participating. I don't even know. Like, what is, what is her talent? How do we... Uh, friendly. A friendly introduction. How do we participate? Join open mic. This is gonna go terribly and I am so ready for it. <laughs> Feel free to use the mic or instrument once it's time to get on stage. Can she sing? No. <laughs> she... Uh, does have a she has more comedy skill than singing skill so maybe she can do like a stand-up routine is that part of the talent showcase <laughs> whatever it is let's talk to Angelica <laughs> we'll see oh Hamilton is here as well hi they should be closer she can now show off some talent it's her turn to perform all right um tell jokes is that practice acting no tell jokes is that is that can that is that does she have to sing will that be considered a talent it should be but will it i mean someone is listening oh she likes it o octavia bailey a b-lister and peggy's biggest fan <laughs> I'm still not sure if this is counting as a talent showcase. Oh my god, so many famous people. Are these all like proper celebrity? Are you an actress? Are you an actress? Can Peggy be famous? Can th can she be like a famous actress? <laughs> can that be a thing? Look at her. Look at this audience. They're loving, they're loving everything she's saying. If we just like hog the mic the entire evening, Will she win the talent showcase? Is this a winning? Is this just? It's just an open mic, isn't it? It's not a winning kind of situation. Okay. Well, I have no idea if she participated or not, but the talent showcase is finished. <laughs> is that like a passive-aggressive no note to Peggy who held on to the mic the entire night? Sorry for anyone who didn't get to participate. Maybe next time. But I am going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again very soon. Bye everyone!